how to box squat without a box. You got no excuses. Even if your gym doesn't have a box, we're gonna show you this exercise. If you have a box, even better. Well, let's dive into it. As an online coach, I like programming in the box squat because I find it's a very beneficial exercise for fixing a lot of people's form issues, getting them comfortable in the hole, getting them at new depths, and kind of learning how to get control and explosiveness out of your squat. But the common issue I get is, oh, my gym doesn't have a dedicated box for box squats. This is something I hear too often, and we're gonna show you two great alternatives that I guarantee your gym has. There's no way they don't, and how you guys can jump in to perform this exercise safely and effectively. Okay, guys, first off, you can see I'm wheeling over a bench here. This is the easiest one to use. It all depends about your personal leverage and how tall you are. You wanna make sure you're kind of close to that parallel range. It's a little bit okay if you're an inch over. You don't wanna be too much under, or you're gonna perform some of the common mistakes into but you can see for me this is pretty effective uh, you don't have to worry about the bench not fitting because we're wheeling it in straight you only need that small portion of it sitting down and exploding up that's number one second off guys is a dumbbell the reason I like this so much is you can adjust it for your height if you're a shorter person you're probably gonna use a dumbbell that's a little bit less in weight so for instance something like a 30 pound dumbbell would be a very deep squat for me being at my height right now however a shorter person or someone who likes squatting that deep for their box squat could utilize that if you want a higher squat, I recommend using a 100 pound dumbbell or higher. For me, that seems to work out fine. It's still a little bit low, but it's okay. It's where I'm comfortable. I have done box squats here. Not heavy ones at that, but if you're just looking for a depth check, this is a great way to kind of fix your form that way. I really recommend using the seat because it's very steady and sturdy. Uh, it's very easy to come off of and it's comfortable and it's the great easiest alternative to the box. Okay guys, common mistake number one, this is the one I see done by a lot of people, is improper box height. Whether you're using dumbbells or you're using an actual box, a lot of people have it way too high. This is just gonna simply turn into an ego lift. You're not really doing a full range of motion, kind of pointless. And then on the other hand, a lot of people have it way too low. They'll use like a 20 pound dumbbell or a box that's like this big. And basically this is gonna put a lot of stress on your lower back. Um, introduce some butt wink and it's just gonna lead to you guys potentially getting injured down the road So find it just about parallel and that's the best way to do it guys If you haven't already make sure you click that first link down in the description get our free fix your form book uh, This is gonna help you. It's a personal training in your pocket It's gonna be all our videos kind of simply explain just so you guys if you're in the gym You don't know how to do an exercise crank that puppy out fix your form All right second up guys this one I see too many people doing is that when they sit down they just go limp they actually sit down. They don't keep any tension. They're not keeping that posture. They're not keeping those legs contracted and strong. And when you come down and sit down limp, it's very hard to explode back up and it's gonna be awkward, inaccurate, and inconsistent. What you're trying to learn and replicate here is how to get down in the hole, like for a pause squat and stay strong. If you're doing a pause squat, you don't just kind of like loosen up, go limp, not keep the tension on your legs. By letting go of it and then trying to re-engage and stand up, it's gonna be awkward. It's not wrong to keep the tension. You are sitting, but you're sitting in a strong stance where you can explode up from. Number three, guys, is gonna be nice and simple, but this one is ridiculous, something I see way too often. When people sit, just like the last one, they sit. Like, they'll sit back onto their heels, put all the way backwards, so when they have to sit up, they go forward and up. It's gonna cause, like Kyle said, that butt wink, and furthermore, it's gonna cause you to lift your heels, lose your balance, and feel like you're gonna cave in forward. You don't want those heels and toes lifting. You wanna keep them planted, keep that feet strong. Like I said, it's not a reason to go limp, especially with the feet. If you're already experiencing heel lift, and this is something you experience when you're sitting down, you're doing this exercise so wrong, and when you're balancing on your tippy toes or your heels, you're gonna fall one way or the other, or you're gonna shift weight really awkwardly and inconsistency, inconsistently, sorry, and that's how you're gonna get injured, guys. So really avoid that, keep those feet firm, keep those legs strong, and that's how you're gonna get up. Now we're gonna take you guys on a simple walkthrough of how to do this exercise from point A to point C. Let's get it. Okay guys, so here is how you actually perform the box squat. If you don't know how to do an actual squat, I recommend checking out our full form video click right here. Um, and then watch that and then come back to this video. So with that being said guys, the most important thing to realize is the actual setup of the box is gonna be very important. If you have it too far back, um, you could just potentially fall back like imagine just getting down ready for a squat And then you just completely miss it with a lot of weight that would be very horrible I've seen it done before or having it too close You just won't be able to get a full range of motion. It's gonna hit your hamstrings stuff like that So you want to make sure that you understand how to actually walk back? So sometimes I take a practice with just the bar 
or without any weight. I take my two steps and then I sit down like I normally would and then practice exploding up before actually adding on some weight. So get under the bar, get ready to perform a regular squat. I got my two steps back, stay nice and tight, breathe in. And then explode up. A common mistake I see a lot of people do, and this kind of goes into a lot of the common mistakes we've talked about. People just sit back and then they breathe. They exhale here and then they just become very loose. That's what you want to avoid doing. And here, that's a full breakdown of how you actually perform the squat. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to smash that like button if you enjoyed it. Share it with someone who could learn how to actually utilize these tips that we gave you. Subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you in the next video. Peace out.